What's up guys, it's Tommy here and welcome to a brand new, very, very exciting Liverpool transfer news video because it looks like Liverpool are pushing to sign Ederson, the brilliant 24-year-old midfielder from Atalanta, the Liverpool Echo, Get French Football News and other journalists and news outlets are reporting that Liverpool are making a 38 million pound bid, a 45 million euro bid for the midfielder that, that Jurgen Klopp knows firsthand and he's just 24 years old and in this video you will need to know a lot about this midfielder all you need to know about Ederson who is about to become a Liverpool player so is this an Ederson welcome to video a Liverpool video not just yet because there are still some negotiations that needs to be done but Liverpool are ready to address the defensive midfield problem that um, that Liverpool had basically since Fabinho left Liverpool we don't have a world-class defensive midfield and the Brazilian reporter Jorge Nicola first claimed that Liverpool have submitted this 38 million pound bid which is 45 million euros to sign the center midfielder a different report coming out of Brazil claims Ederson is close to reaching an agreement with Liverpool in principle after he had been followed almost all seasons so Liverpool have been scouting Ederson even before we played Atalanta in the Europa League quarterfinals where we lost and Sportzone is reporting that Liverpool are close to completing a deal to sign Ederson which is very very exciting news but others are reporting that the deal is not as close to being done so we will hear from Fabrizio Mano, James Pierce and other journalists as well on this matter but if you enjoy these up-to-date Liverpool transfer news updates make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you are new around here so you never miss the latest updates around Liverpool FC and Ederson played a crucial role in Atalanta's season and Atalanta had a historic season won their first European trophy and finished in fourth place in the Serie A after a fantastic last three or four months of the season but the whole season Atalanta have been pretty amazing but these last three months they have been fantastic and they actually defeated Leverkusen 3-0 in the final Adelman Lukman got a hat-trick and they were the only team in Europe to beat Leverkusen this season which is absolutely amazing they are reporting that Paris Saint-Germain are also interested in Ederson but they haven't uh, entered negotiations with Atalanta but Liverpool have and Liverpool experts reacted to this news and Liverpool expert James Pierce, Liverpool based journalist uh, said that they Liverpool need to strengthen in the defensive midfield department and it will come down to availability and affordability so who is available right now in the transfer market and who Liverpool can afford and I think 38 million pounds for Ederson a 24 year old very versatile the midfielder who is mainly a defensive midfielder is a but he can play box-to-box -box midfielder as well James Pierce said the market for the defensive midfielders is probably the most overinflated in football just look at Moises Caicedo going for 110 million Roma Lavia going for 56 million to Chelsea I would love to see Liverpool sign an elite holding midfielder James Pierce said because I'm not sure that just having Endo and a young Stefan Bajcetic who is gifted but He's playing catch up after missing the, almost the whole season due to injury. Gives you enough in that department. So James Pierce, I agree with him that Liverpool need a world class or very good defensive midfielder who is better than Endo, who is more mobile, better with the ball. Endo is a solid player, but he should be a soft squad player. He shouldn't be a starting eleven defensive midfielder. Last season proved that Alexis Macarista is so much better operating further up the pitch as an attacking midfielder where he can really impact games in the final third and that's uh, McAllister's best position of course we don't know yet where uh, Arna Slot intends to use uh, Trenox Ronald will he stay at right back and drift into central areas as an inverted right back or Will a Trenox Arnold become a midfielder, a deep lying playmaker, a defensive midfielder? Either way, James Pierce is saying Liverpool need to strengthen in that area. But James Pierce also po poured a little bit of cold water on these rumors that Liverpool are about to sign Ederson, that so far he hasn't heard that Liverpool made a bid. But remember, James Pierce didn't know anything about Liverpool signing Thiago. And one day later, it was announced that Liverpool are about to signing Thiago. So Liverpool are not, aren't briefing journalists 
in and around Liverpool because they want to keep their cards close to their chest. The fact that James Pierce doesn't know whether Liverpool made a bid for Ederson or not, it doesn't mean anything really. Fellow journalist Louis Steele also said that the speculation around Ederson so far is wide of the mark, but that could change because Liverpool are definitely interested in Ederson. We have been scouting him for uh, more than a season, but Liverpool have a number of midfielders on their shortlist. FC Porto's Alan Varela is another player who is admired by Liverpool and there have been early talks uh, over uh, the availability of Kefran Turam with Nice as well. Fabio Semano also gave his thoughts on the Ederson situation. We heard today reports of a bid from Liverpool for Ederson. What I'm hearing is that Atalanta at the moment haven't received an official bid yet. They know there is interest in Ederson but they have not received any official proposal and they want to keep Ederson at the club. But it is also true that Liverpool made contact with the agents of Ederson recently to understand the situation of the player. So we are already talking to the agents of Ederson and we of course want to see whether Ederson is even available and whether he would be interested in coming to Liverpool. It doesn't mean that Ederson is going to Liverpool. It doesn't mean that Ederson to Liverpool is a close or advanced or a done deal. But Liverpool are exploring the market before deciding which players they will go for and which players they won't go for. This is the situation around Ederson. Liverpool have been following the player, scouting the player, but they still don't know what they will do in that position in the midfield. Ederson is a player that Liverpool are monitoring, they appreciate, they made contact with his agents, but at the moment, before he is saying he's in on the list or Liverpool have made a bid, we still have to wait with Atalanta also, waiting to understand which club will approach them for Ederson. But Atalanta of course don't have anywhere near the financial power of Liverpool being in the Serie A. Of course them qualifying for the Champions League means that they will have more money. Atalanta are a club which will sell their biggest stars if big clubs come calling because they just can't afford to pay them salaries that Liverpool can afford Ederson to pay. And if Reynolds Swanwood is converted into the defensive midfield role then you could have an argument that Liverpool don't really need a defensive midfielder, but we don't know yet whether Arna Slot will convert Trent into a midfielder or not. And I think until Arna Slot sees Trent in action, and probably after the season begins, we will experiment. Maybe some games Trent will play in midfield, some games he will play right back. Until we know that Arna Slot has seen Trent, he can't really make a judgment on this huge call. So right now, the best case scenario for Liverpool is to sign another midfielder. If Trent is converted into the midfield spot, then that will be just even more competition for places. But on Sky Sports, Thiago Nunez described uh, Ederson as a box-to-box -box player with the energy to keep going back and forth, forth all the time. All the time, I saw him playing as a box-to-box -box player midfielder who isn't really someone to build the game, but more of a player who can break through the lines, get into the final third, progress uh, with the ball up the field. I see him more as a midfielder with the freedom to get forward. So he's not an out-and-out -out defensive midfielder per se, that's probably not his best position but as, and and he, his stats justify that because he played uh, almost all of the games in Syria 36 games from 38 scored six goals got an assist he's 24 years old 184 centimeters tall so he's taller than Endo he has a really really robust um, physical build and his contract expires in 2027 and as you can see his current market value is around 40 million euros so the 45 million euro bid if it's true that Liverpool made that bid then that's kind of covers his uh, value he was signed by Atalanta for 23 million euros from Salernitana and he, you can see his career so far that he started in a small Brazilian club's youth academy then he went to Cruzeiro which is a really big club in Brazil then Corinthians an even bigger club and then Fortaleza he was alone at Fortaleza as well and then from Corinthians Salernitana signed him for six and a half million half a season later Salernitana got rid of him in his last season he scored seven goals in total played 12 games in the Europa League 36 in the Serie A five games in the Italian Cup as well so he had a season where he played almost all of the matches 
for Atalanta and this is his whole career in the Serie A so far so he played half a season at Salernitana and then at Atalanta he played 37 games first season 53 games this season so he's very durable he's not an injury prone player and he won a title with Cruzeiro and with Po Fortaleza as well before going to Atalanta and winning the Europa League trophy which is Atalanta's biggest trophy Andy Jones also highlighted this big conundrum that Arne Slot faces what to do with Trenox then the bigger problem Arne Slot may face is a lack of time working with Alexander Arnold before the season begins because the Euros ends and then the players will need to have a break so Trent will miss a, a large part of preseason if England go far in the Euros. It is still unclear whether Arne Slot views Trent as a right back or a central midfielder. If it is the latter as part of his double pivot both the manager Arne Slot and the player we'll have little choice but to fine-tune the change during the season and you know thankfully at least in the first part of the season in the first month Liverpool will play one game per week because the Champions League do doesn't start until September in August from the middle of August until the middle of September there is only Premier League games to play so at least there will be time for Arne Slot to work with Trent Oxwanold. But given Trent Oxwanold's unparalleled ability on the ball, you can see his passing range is as good as anyone's. There has been an increasing clamor for Trent to be used in the middle of the park, and Gareth Southgate is using Trent more and more often in the midfield in the England side so maybe in the Euros Trent will play in midfield and Arne Slot can see him in action how, how it works in midfield but Arne Slot is often playing in a 4-2-3-1 formation uh, at Feyenoord so there is a very big chance that Liverpool will play in that formation and that will be slightly different than the 4-3-3 formation because in the 4-3-3 formation Liverpool played with one defensive midfielder and two box-to-box -box midfielders like Soboslay and McAllister or Curtis Jones and Soboslay. With the 4-2-3-1 you need two holding midfielders so there is a chance that Endo and Trent will play in the defensive or holding midfield role or Ederson and Trent will play in the holding midfield role. So if we are playing in this 4-2-3-1 formation for next season then Ederson will be a very very important signing for Liverpool if it goes through and he will be a very pivotal signing because Liverpool then would need definitely more than two defensive midfielders. Right now we just have Endo and Bajcetic. So if you add Trent and Ederson into the defensive midfield positions that they can play there, that would be much much better, much healthier competition for places in the defensive midfield role. The big question is will Gareth Southgate have the balls to play Trent Oxford-Arnold against the bigger teams in the defensive midfield role. But I think he will work it out probably in the group stage. England are expected to go far in the Euros, so it will be very interesting to see where Trent plays. Sadly, Curtis Jones and Jero Kwanza were cut from the Euros England squad, but uh, Joe Gomez and Trent Oxford-Arnold are still in the England squad. And Arne Slot will be watching the England games with a very close eye to see where and how Trent Oxford-Arnold plays and whether that will really influence the new Liverpool coaches thinking ahead of his first campaign in charge of Liverpool FC. That will be a very very interesting conundrum for the new manager. So let me know, do you think Liverpool should sign Ederson and is he worth 45 million? Do you want just Trent Bajcetic and uh, Endo as our free defensive midfield options for the new season. I think we are a little bit short in that department still, even with Trent potentially in there, because as I said, Arne Slot is playing with two holding midfielders, and hopefully that will give Liverpool more defensive stability. And the passing range of Trent Oxford-Arnold will be fantastic. And Conor Bradley is more than good enough to play as a first choice right back, and he can alternate with Joe Gomez in the right back spot. And we have Timikas and Roberts, Robertson as the left back, uh, players so let's see let, let's wait and see what Arne Slot does in the new season but it will be very very interesting how Arne Slot will use Tranox Arnold. thanks for watching guys I really hope that you guys enjoyed this have a nice day see you later goodbye